it is the state of the art, uh, the new robot, and there is nothing better than that at the moment in the UK. It has a up-to-date 3D vision, which is much better than the old one. The arms are much narrower, so that we had more versatile in terms of uh, introducing new instruments into uh, introducing instruments into the uh, abdomen. It can do all sorts of procedures. It does, in my specialty, upper GI surgery, colorectal surgery, urological surgery, even head and neck surgery, and some of the plastic surgeons also have been using it. What the robot hand has is seven degrees of movement, which is almost certainly like having your hand inside the human body through a tiny little hole. Now, if you were to look at the traditional keyhole surgery, it has only four movements. Uh, it's much more coarse. This one is absolutely fine. It filters the surgeon's tremors, so it's absolutely rock steady. Uh, this is the future of surgery. Uh, uh, having been in the surgical uh, field for well over 30 years, this is what people used to say when keyhole surgery came 30 years ago. Uh, people raised the question, this is the way to go, this is too expensive. Now it's standard. I, 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 uh, with my crystal ball, I will say that robotic surgery is here to stay and will, I, will, I think it will be the mainstream for years to come.